Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's a book we all know and love. And it's been enjoyed for several generations. And now the story has been reimagined for the stage. Take a look. Satisfying and delicious. Talk about your childhood wishes. You can even eat the dishes. There is no life I know. Wow, that's really impressive. <laughs> so All right, we're so happy to welcome two of the stars of the show to Better. Yes, Bryn Williams <laughs> plays Violet Beauregard. She turns into the blueberry. <laughs> and Danny Quadrino, who plays Mike TV. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having us. So, what a fun show. Yeah, it's totally. We, we've talked to a couple of people who had an opportunity to go last night, and they said the show is unbelievable yes. and that the Oompa Loompas <laughs> stole the show. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, how, how does that did. happen? You guys are upstage by Oompa Loompas. <laughs> well, they're funny. Yeah. <laughs> they're, there are worse things to be upstage <laughs> that by. That is very true. They're so <laughs> iconic from the book and all of the movies. Everybody wants to see the Oompa yeah. Loompas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Their first entrance is always so amazing to hear the audience go crazy every time they yeah. see them. We can't tell you how it's done, so you'll have to come okay. see it. Yeah, we'll have to see it. So for anybody out there who's been under a rock for the past several years, <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about the storyline. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is the story of Charlie Bucket, this poor boy who is living with his mother and his four grandparents, and he loves chocolate and wants to win the contest to find a golden ticket and take a trip to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. And it's a story where you you really root for the underdog because we're all the kind of villains, all the other golden ticket winners, and you really watch this young kid struggle to find his way and like. Once he wins that ticket, you're just like rooting for him the whole time, and right. it's just so exciting to watch and be along for the right. ride. Because you guys are kind of spoiled, and he's not, right? He's yeah. like living in a one-room place with yeah. his whole family, and that's his only dream yeah. is to go to Willy Wonka. Yes, personality-wise, we are sort of the cautionary tales, and Charlie is what every kid should aspire to be. Uh, he's, he represents everything that is good and kind and optimistic. He's pure innocence, and we are not. <laughs> Tell us, uh, yeah, I know we touched on it in the beginning, but tell us about your roles and who, you, who you're who you playing individually. Right, I play Violet Beauregard, and in this production, she is an Instagram celebrity and famous for chewing bubble gum. Oh, so they've updated. Oh, they yeah. have updated. Oh. There's a little, like, I heard, yeah, There's it's not, it's get off your devices. Yeah, I kind. play Mike TV, and he is so into all of his video games and his phone and his iPad and all of these electronics, his earphones, he's never without them. And, you know, uh, mine is just, my cautionary tale, I feel, is like, is like get out of your own, get out of get your out device of your and live in the now, right. you know? Yeah. Which yeah. we all could do a little bit more of. <laughs> yeah. Is, for those who've maybe only seen the movie or just read the book, is, is the show very similar or is there a lot of differences? It's, it's, it's similar, it's for both. sure. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I think it's a perfect mash of the movie and the, both movies and the book into one and then we have our own original spin on it as well. Right, we have um, Pure Imagination and Golden Ticket and the Oompa Loompa song from the original movie, but then we also have brand new songs written by Scott Whitman and Mark Shaman who just did the music for Mary Poppins Returns. Oh, so yeah. they're masterminds and geniuses and it's it's the perfect blend of nostalgia and brand new material. Now, the, uh, the, the show can get a little dark from time to time, but, it, but <laughs> it recommended for all age groups? Yeah, Absolutely. I yeah. I, I, it's such a family show. I see, I see kids coming out of there. My youngest brother and sister are five and seven. Oh my and goodness gracious! My mom was like, "Oh, do you think it'll be fine for them?" I was like, "Oh yeah." And they came out, and they were like, "Bryn, did you really turn into the blueberry?" <laughs> so yeah, all, it's for all ages, kids and adults. Yeah, I uh, love leaving, and uh, when little kids are like, "How did you get big again?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I had four people stretching me from each side." Right. <laughs> well, that's so interesting to adapt it for the show. Like, I'm thinking, like, how are they going to make her into a blueberry? And right. then, but I heard how it's are they going to crush her? Yeah, it is. That's so scene fun. Is also, uh, <laughs> it's a scene stop. It's a showstopper. Your scene, I heard. It is. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of fun. I never really get to see it because I'm expanding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I get to watch it all, and it's great. It's it fantastic. <laughs> I also heard, and I don't know if it's going to be this okay, every day, but I heard that. The kids were very excited because there was free candy at the show. 
Oh, we didn't get in any the lobby. Yeah, <laughs> in the lobby, right? Yeah, I've, I've never been in the lobby, so yeah. I, can, I can't All attest right. to that. So that might, that might Is have that true, Paul? <laughs> Paul doesn't Paul even know. <laughs> so it might have just been for uh, a celebration of opening night. Come see the show. But I know they have lots of candy at the Bushnell that the kids can eat while they watch the show. <laughs> such iconic song, such iconic, such an iconic story. It really is terrific. I'm so glad that you guys are here to do it at the Bushnell, which is great. Yeah. So, yeah, are you happy? Yeah, Absolutely. it's so nice. The theater's beautiful, and the audience last night was amazing. I'm so excited to do yeah, it. They, mm -hmm. they get more amazing as the as yes. the week wears on. <laughs> well, they're pretty amazing on Tuesday nights too. But thank yeah. you so much for being with us. Thank Thanks you for having us. That's so great. Yeah. Can you want to say a line like "Daddy, I want to"? No, that's that's. Oh, I say Instagram at Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> that's the way to go out. All right. If you're interested in getting tickets for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, head to thebushnell.org. The musical is on stage there through Sunday. Great.